Welcome, John. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for having me. Awesome, have man. Thanks for mind. joining us here uh, on the show today. We really appreciate your time. You're in town to corner Benil Darius, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, Benil flew me out from Guam to help him out and everything with the uh, final preparations for this fight. So I'm just mm -hmm. honored to be in his corner. And how's uh, how's he looking? Oh, he's looking great, man. Um, faster than ever, sharper than ever, and, um, you know, the best he's ever looked so far. So I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. um, how's the weight? Now, usually cornermen and coaches, sometimes the one thing that will hold them back from coming and doing the show like you're doing today is, hey, I just want to make sure his weight's on, you know, because a lot of times the cornermen will go in the sauna or – Run on the treadmill, but is everything okay on on that front? Is Benil doing good? Oh yeah, he's got it down to a science. Uh, he's a professional on that that aspect. Uh, I picked up some few tips from him as well that's made the uh, weight cut for me easier as well. So I understand uh, that it's not going to be an issue for him. Yeah. How how mm -hmm. do you not get wrapped up? I mean, because now you're immersed in the fight world again, but you're not fighting. Like how how do you keep your emotions in check? Because I. I I think you probably want to jump right in there as well, right? Oh, yeah. You know, just for me, it's it's just uh, about conserving the energy so that I can give it and pass it to him as well. Mm -hmm. So just not overreacting or anything like that. You know, you don't want to get over emotional. Just, of course, get excited and be like, yeah, we're about to get down in a scrap. But, you know, just got to give him the good energy. What were some of the tricks that Benil Darius taught you for losing weight? Ah, man, that's a secret, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, really? No, we just take like a, we take tea, you know, a week of the fight just so you can uh, get, I mean, like a green if you're tea? cutting, yeah, like a green tea. If you, uh, if you're cutting, you know, sometimes it's hard to use the restroom, you know, because you're all backed up or just dry, running dry. So, uh, one of the, one of the things that helped me, I mean, I think it was Australia where I was like flew overseas and, um, you know, I got there like a week, maybe like seven days before the fight. But I was like, oh, why am I holding so much weight? I was like 178 when I got there. And I was like, oh, you know, let me go sweat a bit. And he was like, hey, John, try this. So I took a tea and then, man, I, s I swear, if not six pounds, then seven pounds I, I lost just by using the restroom. Yeah? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, for Holy sure. Holy crap. And I was like, hell yeah. All over a tee? <laughs> <laughs> All over a wow. tee, bro. It's because we're cutting so much weight, even though as much as we drink water. And uh, and that, that training camp, to be exact, was actually longer because I started in July. And uh, that was when the uh, UFC Manila fell out. And uh, they put That's me right. like six more weeks, you know, in training camp trying to hold a peak. And, uh, you know, it was just a lot of change in the body. Flew back. Flew uh, to Manila and then came back and then try to restart the whole training camp again. So my body was uh, my body was ready to perform on on October. So I just had to hold that peak and you know a lot of the liquid in the system and and just the the way of eating habits and everything. I just had to uh, the only way of getting it out was the tea, bro. 